I wanted to ask you, so when I talk to entrepreneurs, there's always like a clear superpower that they have. And so some of them, they have like a background in design. And so they've spent a tremendous amount of time really getting the design and the brand right. And then the product follows. When I talk to you, it sounds like you've spent a tremendous amount of time getting the product right in every way. So the science, the packaging, and then the design brand, and let's call it like the following starts to really take off based on all the attention that you've placed on on just getting this product out there. Uh, what do you view as your superpower when it comes to startup? I, obviously, you've had three companies, and so you've developed something that you're probably better at than most. What do you think that is? You know, we're always trying to trying to share the different facets of entrepreneurship and how it doesn't always have to look and smell like what you hear in the news. It's always a little bit different. And so what, what do you think your superpower is when it comes to startup? Well, I like to think that I'm very creative, so that's definitely a big plus, but it's definitely sales and marketing. I mean, that's my wheelhouse. I love it. I love, you know, getting in front of people and talking about the product. It's my baby. And then coming up with ways to promote it and market it and, and design. And by the way, we won the best packaged water at the International Beverage Exhibition in Nuremberg. And uh, I have a funny story about that. So I found out that we were in the finals for that particular category. But the, the contest was, it was in Germany. And I thought, oh, you know, to go out there and what, you know, if it, it doesn't happen. And it was like, it would have been a last minute trip. And then as it turned out, I had a dinner with Deepak Chopra and I wanted to talk to him about H-factor and molecular hydrogen and get his thoughts on it. And then I said, okay, you know, do I go maybe what if, or, you know, do I stay here and who wants to turn down a, a you know, a sure. private dinner with Deepak Chopra. So I went with the dinner and then as it turned out, they said, you won. <laughs> So unfortunately, you do miss a few opportunities, but we still won, you know, the award and I have a, a beautiful award that they sent to me. And not only that, but we also, we were a winner for the packaging design and we've had subsequent awards for the packaging. So I'm really excited and very proud of what we were, you know, able to accomplish, but it's been an exciting road. On the sales and marketing side of it, how do you view growth from a digital media perspective? And so obviously COVID threw us in the in, in the throes of no more trade shows, no more one-to-one -one conversations, no more touching the product, tastings even at grocery stores have ended. And so as it related to getting your product out there, you know, are you in the influencer game? How do you view social media as a, as a lever for growth? What has that been like during this time? Very challenging. And it's just... It, COVID has really created a, a, a big impediment in terms of, you know, being able to market it. You know, the, a big thing was going into the stores and doing demos. And of course, all of that has, has since evaporated. And so basically, you know, social media has pretty much been a go-to platform for us, you know, to get out the, the word activations. We used to do a lot of activations those are all but gone at this point and word of mouth and you know just getting it out into the stores and you know hoping that you know as many people supporting a lot of our followers you know especially and and not just necessarily the professional sports stars or the you know professional entertainers but you know we have like kids on soccer teams that send us pictures holding their trophy and age factor and it's word of mouth and they just tell their friends and their friends tell their friends. And it's been a tremendous grassroot uh, momentum for age factor. We had, as an example, one store in a Walmart in Georgia where a couple of people came in, found the water they were working out, went back to their gym and then the whole gym was on it. Mm -hmm. So, it's just been really interesting to see the growth, both from, you know, grassroots all the way up, you know, to celebrity. It is podcast host approved. I'll tell you that much. I'm a big fan <laughs> of it. We're actually building out our podcast studio. And so hopefully we'll have a, a, a tremendous amount of it and Nick can try it. And everyone that comes on the podcast can try it. And it'll be a good well, way I to think market. there's a way that we could get you some to your, <laughs> <laughs> to your studio. 